It's 7.30 Thursday morning. I believe it's Thursday. You know, it could be Friday. Isn't that funny? Um, every day is important and equally as good. It is actually Friday. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, this is Leanne coming at you. I haven't made a video in a few days. And, you know, not that I have a whole bunch of followers, but... To whoever might listen to this, I just want to make it clear, too, that I'm just... I feel like I'm a spirituality for beginners or spirituality 101. I was about to say for dummies, but I don't believe any of us are dummies. And if I said it, I wouldn't think that. But I've learned, you know, etymology. Um, you know, our words that we speak, language, is very tricky. The way things, creation was set up, the actual intention behind your words is actually presented the opposite the way the words are construed today and 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 put together they have actually manipulated that believe it or not um so you have to be so careful with the some of the jokes that i've always carelessly thrown around but yeah it's just something else you have to let go of is you know, it's it's okay. I mean, ultimately, what your heart, your heart, and your higher self will take care of everything, and they already have. I mean, um, one thing I can offer, um, and that I want to offer, because it's a way that I know I can help, is because I've been there, I've done it, and I'm still doing it, and still living it, and and that's awakening, um, the awakening, waking up. <clears throat> um, and I've always wanted to do something like this, but I was actually hesitant because I know that I'm not an expert. I do not channel yet. I have been told by a psychic um, on a radio show that I called into, and her name was Mary. And I've actually visited her channel, too, after that, and she was spot-on accurate about other things. Um... What's the rest of her name? Because I would love to give her a shout out. It's been literally like six months after I first started waking up. And, um, I guess that's about it for that. Except for that she said that I was psychic and that I was very sensitive. My attention got taken for a second there. My kitty cat. He's my best friend in the whole wide world. His name is Spooky. He's solid black and green eyed and gorgeous. And,. Even though he's a big, tough um, kitty, he's just a mush at the same time. He's just so sweet. And he just, he knows things, you know. I call him my pet, but I'm really wanting to change that too. He's not my pet. He's a sovereign soul that I am very honored that he came and helped me clean out my energy on him. Actually, he still does. But yeah, so um, spirituality, awakening, what have you, 101, that's me, Leanne. Um, I also posted a video of, of this guy I saw this morning. I came out of the store, and there was a part to the right of those clouds that I could not capture. I have a dozen different pictures, but the light shone out of it, you know, in a way that I'm not religious. I do not believe in religion. I completely stand by that's a you know another mechanism of control for a mass group of people and and it's just proven every day that it or i'm not every day but every time that i have a discussion with a christian about this because i was a christian i understand it i believe beautiful people are christians um it's just that they've bought into something for no bad uh, reasons of their own or anything they just like everybody else they want to do the right thing and they want to um, be in a community and it's unfortunate you know that we don't take that deep inflexibility that is what it turns out to be but that deep what we think is loyalty which really is inflexibility and unwillingness to change or learn um, but you really have to be more flexible. I, I was as rigid as they came, and I broke. So trust me, you don't you don't want to break. Just listen to everybody, even the religions. You can get something good out of it. You know, one thing that I've heard for three years: discernment, 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 discernment. But um, yeah, so um, definitely been trying to keep up with my um, bacon soda or bacon powder and um 
and water, the warm water in the mornings. And I was learning from Karen Ann McDonald about how to make these. Um, it's just a, the good water, the distilled water. If you can't get to a spring, uh, don't drink it unless it's distilled. Distilled water will only pull out the bad minerals because they... People try to disinfo all the time and say, oh, distilled water is bad for you. It actually make, makes you lose your good vitamins and minerals. Well, that's not true. It doesn't take them all. It only takes away the ones that aren't meant for you. Um, and if you drink any other water, you're just throwing in that aluminum and chlorine. And, um, you know, yes, these things are trace amounts, but they're not that trace amount anymore, in my opinion they have up the the uh quantity because i can actually taste it or maybe i'm just sensitive which reminds me um i was watching suzanne Lai. she lives in hawaii i believe it is if not hawaii it's puerto rico somewhere gorgeous tropical because she does her videos outside and i want to say she is was it no not suzanne Lai. i'm so sorry was it Anyways, it was for the Receiving Love um, channel. Needless to say, I will double check that and get back to you. But the point being, I'm not the one who saw this for the first time. Um, but if you will get in the sunshine and just relax and hold your hand up or your arm. And just kind of turn it and turn it. Just looking at the pores of your skin. Just looking at the sheen of your skin. Just keep looking and looking and you will notice that you know you are changing i could not believe when i saw her put this video up and then she captured it with her camera she was laying in the sun and next thing you know i didn't understand what the title to the video meant it was talking about rose quartz and all this other stuff well since we're changing to our crystalline bodies slowly but surely but much faster than anybody could have ever guessed um it's actually starting to show yes we, you know, we're going to actually be able to, um, we're going to be beaming light, you know, like a crystal, you know, and I just can't wait. I'm just so excited and it sounds and feels and resonates as the truth, you know, and I just, um, sometimes I'm bubbled over with excitement and then other times I have to be careful because I get scared that I won't be allowed to join everyone and become crystalline i'm so worried about it but at the same time that's not right we all know that fear is not a natural emotion or feeling that's given to humans that is something that something else that we took on and you know right now there's just like the sparkly you know truly truly like diamonds on your skin you have to really look but it's different than it ever been it's, it's almost like some of that good old-fashioned tannin oil we used to use, like, you know, Bande Soleil. I'm probably not saying that right, but um, Bande Soleil was my favorite. Um, I don't even know if they still make it, but the way it would make your skin look all shiny, it looks even better than that. It's literally like little 